Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk, vlog number two. Thank you for all the nice comments and the views that I had on vlog one. Really enjoyed getting in front of the camera. I know a lot of people just normally just see my hands like for reviews. So vlog two just brings in a little bit what I'm actually up to today. So I'm filming a new unboxing. I've got myself a new NAS drive. And I'm going to be setting that up and doing multiple videos on that. Behind me you can see my soft boxes and a bit of my setup. I'm just going to do a quick tour. I'm going to actually bring a proper setup tour for 2016 when my new desk comes. So at the moment I'm using an old desk and it's one of the first ever used for YouTube. And we're going to update it and change it all around a bit. So let me just flip the camera around and we're going to show you that now. Let's come around. So this is the desk I'm using at the moment. I've got my MacBook Pro there and then I've got the monitor which I've unboxed. And will be in the description as well. That is the Samsung monitor there, curved screen, it does look nice and lovely background on there, wish I was laid on that beach instead of in cold England at the moment, I've got my PS4 sat there, some notepads and pens, I always have them close to come up with different ideas, on that side there you will see the actual hard drive that I'm going to unbox, you can see my iPad mini and my iPad Air there, and that little blue little envelope's just got a bit of spare money in it that I use to buy different things. So, messy part, so wires and everything, like I said, I'm stripping this all out because a new desk is coming. Underneath here, you can see all my games for the Xbox One and PS4. And I will go through all the different ones that I have. And I've made quite a collection there, actually, for both consoles. At the moment, the game I'm enjoying the most is The Division, which I've got on the Xbox One. So, coming over here, you're going to see my setup. And it looks so much better now that I have the whiteboard. Massive thank you to TechCut, actually. Go and check out her channel. It's really good. Link in the description. And she come up with these ideas with these fantastic whiteboards. Everyone normally paints their walls white and everything. But these whiteboards are ideal for taking photographs and for recording. So you see my two big soft boxes here. Again, I'm going to be updating these. And I'll put the link in the description for these ones. And then I'll be doing a video on my new ones. My tripod as well. Really enjoy using that one. It's can vertically go over, stand like this, or lay down flat on the ground. Really great. Link in the description for that. But I might be upgrading as well to a, a Manfrotto one. So just filming out of my view that I can see right across my town. Finally here in England, we've got a bit of sunshine. Spring is slowly starting to come through. And just look at a great view. And I do my camera test from up here and outside as well. With a new AR drone as well, I'm actually going to do some filming and see how we get on as well. So that was a little bit of my setup. Okay, there needs a lot of tidying up and a lot of squaring up, but I'm gonna bring you the new 2016 setup when it's all up and ready to go. My question for you today, I'm gonna to ask a question every single time I make one, is which do you prefer? I showed you all my PS4 and my Xbox One games. So which is your favorite? And tell me why down below. It's great to listen to you guys. Great to get feedback from every follower, subscriber and viewer. So, my choice is, it's very hard actually, I don't like telling, because different consoles offer different things. My Xbox One is more my media center, and more for showing different media on. I actually play more games on my PS4, so I'm gonna have to say PS4 for gaming. But let me know down below what you think, and why. A Couple of things coming up. First of all, I have reorganized all of these. So we've gone iPads on this corner, and some Apple TVs. In the middle we've got my watch, as you can see here. In that, after that, you've got the iPods. And also then we've got the iPhones as well, just behind me. So as you can see, I've got every iPhone from 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S. I haven't got any of the 5s yet, so I'm looking for a 5. I might scout around on eBay and have a little look. We've got the 6 and the 6 Plus as well there. And the 6S Plus, of course. So that's good. So I sorted them out and I'm going to show you a little bit more detail. Also, I wanted to talk to you as well. I'm going to the Gadget Show live tomorrow. I can't wait for that in the NEC. So granted me a press pass. So I'm going to go in there a couple of hours before the general public, have a little look around and check out all the stands. So if you're going, let me know. So it'd be nice to meet up with different people. I'm going tomorrow, which is the 31st of March. But I'm also going Saturday the 2nd. Also tomorrow, I'm going to miss out. My delivery for my iPhone SE is coming. So full review, unboxings, tests, and loads of videos to come on that. Is it worth the buy and comparing it against other models? So see how well it does against my 6 and my 6 Plus S here. So let's flip the camera around and have a look at these. Okay, so like I said, I've just flipped the camera around. So like I said, we've got all iPhones here now. So all the iPhones I put in a stack. We've got loads of iPods, a real old original iPod classic there. And all the way up, we've got some nano ones. 
I've got my MacBook, iPad original there, iPad 2, iPad Air 1, iPad Air 2. Sold my iPad mini, so we've got an iPad mini 1 there, original one. So I managed to sell my iPad mini 3. So that means I can get an iPad Air Pro, and I'm going to go for the 9.7 inch. I'm not going to go for the bigger version. So underneath that is my iMac. This is a really old iMac. You can see by how thick it is. So this is downstairs. My mum mainly uses this, and it's just for general use. Not very good for video editing, but that is being sold as well this year to upgrade to a new either 5K one or to see what Apple brings out in the summer. So underneath there are all the devices. So you've got all the boxes. There are devices at the top. You can see the iPhones, a couple of little iPods in between. My iPod Classic Collection. Underneath the iPod Touch Collection. An old iPod Mini that I was lucky to find. They were great back in the days. And some iPod Nanos. And there at the far end we've got the new latest iPod Nano as well. Then at the bottom we've got Android little bot there. Some other little bits and bots. We've got a VTIN accessory kit that I need to check out. Also on this side we've got my curved monitor. The PS4 when I got it on launch day. And the Xbox One when it came out on launch day. Very lucky for that. So we're going to have news about a new PS4 as well coming out soon. Which is going to be really interesting. So apparently it's going to be 4K gaming. And maybe for the VR headset. So I have pre-ordered the VR headset. And that should be coming shortly. So turning around to my desk, I did want to do a setup video by now. So this is my desk and the way it looks at the moment. It's not the best. It's, I'm waiting for my new one to turn up. So at the moment, still waiting on delivery. It's supposed to be three weeks. It's been and gone. It's supposed to be another two weeks now. That's a shame. Okay, so let me just show you what's going in my tech bag tomorrow for the gadget show. So first of all, we've got our ticket, our press pass. So thank you to the gadget show for giving me one of those. I've got some money there to buy some new gadgets. Got sunglasses. Tablets just in case you need them. Cable. There's also a plug to go with that for charging the iPad and the iPhone. So I am taking my iPhone 6S Plus. I am taking my 6 Plus as well as a backup. And my iPad Air to give me all the photos so I can transfer over them and upload them. And do a bit of publishing on the way back. We've got some pens, some sweets, my business cards. That's all I'm taking, and a spare battery pack as well for my phone, like a backup charger. So I'm going to be using that, but I'm looking to buy a new one of them. Looking to buy a new dock as well for my iPhone and the watch. Also, I'm going to be taking my Apple Watch, of course, to track every movement that I'm doing and test a couple of apps out on that. So that's my little collection, what I'm taking to the gadget show. And then what I'm going to do is just flip the camera around and show you what is actually all going in. Over here is my full backpack and some more business cards. This backpack is really good. It's a proper tech bag. It's got a proper laptop cover at the back. So my laptop, my iPad, and everything will go in here if I need that. There's more pockets and spaces for everything in there. And that'll be going with me as well tomorrow. So loads of little vlog videos coming tomorrow from the Gadget Show Live 2016. Let me know if you're going, of course, going tomorrow, which is Thursday, and I'm going Saturday as well. So I hope to see you there. Please give me a tweet at Tech Talk UK one or on this video, leave a comment or on, of course on our Facebook page as well. All links in the description. So that was another little vlog from me. So I do enjoy doing these. I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think down below. So we're going to do a England versus Portugal vlog with me and my mate when we go to that game. And of course we're going to the Euro 2016 and I'm going to do a bit of vlogging from that. So I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. Always give that a like and a subscribe as it does help.